All right, hey, Josh here, Stanic Insurance. And uh, let's see if this video is working here. Let me move around the screen here. All right, but hey, this video, I just want to talk about the VIX. I was looking at Zero Hedge last night, and I came across, you know, you come across so many garbage articles out there. I mean, you know, everybody's got their take. They're all floating around different stuff. But, uh, you know, following yesterday's carnage, now today is uh, March 11th, Wednesday. Um, but it says right here, following yesterday's carnage, only prior 7% one-day VIX, SPX dropped since 1940, had been in October 1987 and September, December 2008. And when I read this article, it struck me because uh, the VIX, it measures really the volatility in the market. And uh, when you look at that article, um, it was from Goldman Sachs, you know, Wall Street. I mean, I mean, obviously they're big league, and but uh, they're right in there with uh, obviously right in here with the, the White House uh, making policy decisions. I mean, you look at pretty much all of the uh, you know the people in the White House, they got to tie to Goldman Sachs, but the VIX. So what does this mean? If you're looking at it, trying to to uh, dissect and uh, look at this data and look at the trend and where you're going to position some of your assets, but prior seven percent, that's a that's a big move. That's a big move in the market since 1940 and 1987 and September December 2008. So what that tells me is we're in some for some storms. So what do you do? Um, and again, I'm talking to people, pre-retires, people in their 50s, 60s that don't have a lot of time. And I cut a video a little bit earlier today talking about, uh, you know, the stock market of 1929. It took 25 years for that to come back. Great Depression, 1929. People forget. Boy, if you had money in the market in 1929, it took you to 1954 to get your money back. And then if you think about Japan, you think about the Nikkei. Uh, 1989, boy, they were struggling, big league, big time, a major depression, and then uh, those people in Japan have never, ever come back. So what does this mean? So the VIX, some key metrics that you got to look at, but the VIX uh, to me says that, hey, if you're heavily leveraged in equities, have a ton of market risk, and you're in that realm of 50s and 60s, Not good, not good at all. Um, where I could help is if you need uh, some help, we could rebalance and look at uh, adding uh, a fixed layer guaranteed income. I'm the annuity guy and I don't shy away from that. Guaranteed income, I don't think it's applicable for everything in your portfolio, but I think an annuity where um, a fixed annuity, now I don't do the variable annuities, but a fixed annuity where it can add stability to your portfolio um, is a smart play. Um, you still need some market participation, but if you don't have um, that guaranteed baseline income, uh, you're swimming naked. And in this market right now, 2020, with the coronavirus, with Trump trying to be reelected, with Iran, um, actually with uh, Saudi Arabia and Russia going at it from an oil standpoint, and then you have a lot of corporate bonds, all this repurchasing of bonds and all that a lot of it's junk, 25% is junk. So you have the perfect storm of, uh, of what's gonna maybe be a carnage in this market. So you need to be prepared for it. Um, so, Stanic Insurance, um, hit me up and uh, we'll go from there.